The School of Enchanting Knowledge A fairy tale for children and adults This unusual fairy tale was written by a man who also could be called a wizard. Thanks to the built-in specific information, which are also called bio-information technologies, even hopelessly ill people can get well again if their hearts open to the inner possibilities of body cell regulation. In Russia, doctors took notice of this distinctive feature. That's why it's used after surgery and as therapy support for seriously ill people. The more intensively one dives into this fairy tale, the better one's self-healing powers unfold. Even in seemingly hopeless cases, Arkady Petrov brings hope and confidence through his thoughts. Not only does he live in this world, he also recreates it in his own way, happy, in harmony and love. Arkady invites us into his, our new world, a world which together we can fill and enliven with belief and hope. Experience with all your senses how your own world changes to a better one. Enchanting abilities will be activated inside of you, which create a life free from boundaries. Become happy and healthy, and the world within and around you will be full of love and miracles. Now, Kola had his mind on something completely different. He was wondering what would be better, being sick and feeling sorry for himself, or dealing with the pressing matter of his heart. To be more precise, a new family with a girl named Olya had moved into the house next door. She was the same age as Kolya and played on the same playground. Kolya immediately liked Olya. Lately, his usual thought was, Well, shall I pull her ponytail? But instead, a completely different one occurred when looking at her now. Right now, a storyteller showed up in her dreams and he reminds her about those long-forgotten magical days. May I see what he's telling her? Kolya begged. Even in poetic form, Alok smiled. Now, you're a poet after all, and you can speak from your heart. Take a look. Immediately after he had said the words, take a look, Kolya saw the verses. He was greatly surprised about the fact that he did not hear, but rather saw the sounds. Olya was napping in the big rocking chair next to an apple tree in her garden. Next to her, a funny-looking dwarf was standing on a small garden table, wearing a pointed cap. He was letting a big umbrella rotate in front of the girl's face. Words came out of the umbrella, moving past the sleeping girl. Why me too? You refused to be Kolya the Magnificent, nor did you want to be a magician for the sake of our friendship. You wanted to resemble me. Now we are the same. The purity of your thoughts has made us alike. He laughed so hard he had to hold his stomach. What shall I do in this wonderful garden? After all, I don't know the world as you do. I don't even know such words as you spoke about the ether. Kolya spread his arms to show his concern. Do you understand? I do. Alok answered and continued right away. Immediately a table with a music book on it appeared next to his bed. The pages started to turn on their own and opened up at the right page for Olya. She put the reed pipe to her lips and all of a sudden notes came out seemingly on their own and became music. The notes sounded wonderful and very harmonious. Kolya had no other choice but to sing. His voice was very sure and beautiful, and his friends liked it. There's nothing more beautiful in the world than to wander together with friends. Get ready to go! A fairy tale is being delivered. An old fairy tale. Maestro, swing your baton. Kai, get your sled ready to go. Now I'll throw a snowball at the sun. The wind will blow its bright-sounding trumpets. From the Snow Kingdom will appear in front of us, as if by magic, the Queen. 
mockingly curling her wonderful lips and richly dressed in sable fur. How sad, sigh the roses on the balcony. Someone in a rustling dress walks up to the house. Did you understand the subject matter? Kolya agreed nodding with his head, because to him it really seemed that he had understood the essentials 